What's up guys? In this IC video, we will be talking about the grind for the golden amp on zombies. Not going to be talking a lot, but we will discuss the best attachments that I use and why. Also, yes, this is going to be a whole series, a long series, where we grind to get a gun a week, so strap in and enjoy the ride to the road to Dark Ether. Alright, in zombies, when it comes to attachments, the main thing you want to look for is increased salvage drop. Some attachments help the gun recoil and some help in the uh, same way plus salvage drop. But the more attachments that say this, the better the end game. If you're unfamiliar with this mechanic, points are earned from yeeting zombies and also used to buy perks, guns, off walls, and pack of punches and ammo mods. Whereas salvage is needed to upgrade armor, buy score streaks, and most importantly, upgrade your gun tier for uncommon, rare, epic, and lastly, legendary. Right. <clears throat> what is the amp? The M63 is a full auto pistol with reliable damage and moderate recoil. In order to get this pistol, either buy a blueprint or you can earn it through challenges. One multiplayer, the challenge is the challenge is to yeet five people with pistols in two different matches, or which is more easier on zombies actually, get 400 critical kills using pistols. Really easy. Now, the best plan that I found for any gun or melee was to go in with a custom loadout of the amp or any gun and buy the Galio, which is a fail safe in my opinion, off the wall around, around 25 war bands. Why? At round 25, all guns on the wall become either epic or legendary automatically, sending you tons of salvage. Also by doing this tactic, you can solely focus on the gun you're grinding with upgrades and power boots. Now, to the attachments. First, we have the Subcom Eliminator for your muzzle. This increases salvage drop rate, rate and vertical recoil control, but it decreases shooting, movement speed, and horizontal recoil, recoil control. Secondly, for the barrel, I use. Whoa, whoa, I lost myself. Secondly, for the barrel, I use the 5.9 inch Cavalry Lancer, which increases armor damage. Thirdly, for the body, I prefer the Mountain Flashlight, which only increases salvage draw. But, Ember Sighting Point is better if you want to sacrifice speed for additional hip fire. For the magazine, obviously, the Stag 25 round for maximum ammo. And lastly, for the handle, I use airborne elastic wrap for a 30% increased aim down speed, plus 90% flinch resistance, and aim while going prone. The last part really doesn't matter because who would be going prone on zombies? All right, now understand personally, I don't like using dual wood, so customize. So I customized it away from that. But of course, if you want dual wheel, then simply replace whichever attachment you want and substitute with the dual wheel. But with that being said, this is gonna be it. this is a short video. And I'm not sure if every video for the Rada Road to Dark Ether is gonna be like this. Um uh, but pretty much this is pretty much the whole video. <laughs> Or at least I'm going to be done talking. Now I'm going to be adding mostly montages if you want. But this is pretty much episode one of Road to Dark Either. Next week I will be done with the 1911. So expect a similar video like this one. But I will see you all in the next video. Remember to stay icy. Always improve in what you do.